Sonoma County makes a move that will make life a little better for over 2,000 people. San Diego is the next city in California to announce its own cannabis regulatory body. And Aurora Cannabis bids a fond farewell. It's Tuesday, June 30th, and this is your Tricomes Morning Buzz. Broadcasting live from the Tricomes.com studios in Southern California, it's time for your Morning Buzz. We bring you late-breaking news that keeps you up to date with what's happening in the cannabis industry. First up today in cannabis news, one California county has announced the expungement of over 2,700 cannabis convictions. Sonoma County, California is clearing 2,735 low-level cannabis convictions for more than 2,000 people, County District Attorney Jill Ravitch announced on Friday. The convictions were identified by the county using the statewide software application Clear My Record. District Attorney Ravitch said in a statement, As a result, we have undertaken a thorough review of all cases identified by Code for America's software program Clear My Record and determined that the only way to truly provide justice for these individuals is to go beyond the requirements of the statute and provide complete dismissal in each of the cases. I do not believe this is consistent with the values of the overwhelming number of people of Sonoma County, and therefore we are taking aggressive steps to assist those affected, she said. San Francisco officials expunged 9,362 felony and misdemeanor cannabis convictions dating as far back as 1975 and 2019. Los Angeles, in February, expunged 62,000 felony convictions and 4,000 misdemeanor convictions dating back to 1961. Both cities used Code for America software to identify the cases. Next up, San Diego announces the creation of a new cannabis business regulatory agency. San Diego has joined California cities like Los Angeles, Sacramento, and San Francisco in creating a cannabis-specific agency to oversee its cannabis industry. The city's upcoming Cannabis Permitting Bureau will have an annual operating budget of just under a million dollars and a staff of nine full-time employees to focus on licensing as well as industry oversight, according to the San Diego Union Tribune. We will be doing proactive code enforcement where necessary and revoking permits for what we call bad actors if necessary. P.J. Fitzgerald, an assistant deputy director in the city's Development Services Department, told the newspaper, San Diego has five licensed cannabis storefronts and another five waiting to open. 40 production facilities are licensed in the municipality, 11 of which are operational. We will leave you with this today. Aurora Cannabis has announced their former CEO, Terry Booth, will be retiring from their board. Aurora Cannabis Inc. announced recently that co-founder Terry Booth has retired from his role as director of the company, effective June 26, 2020. Mr. Booth was the chief executive officer of Aurora from December 2014 through February 2020 and served on Aurora's board of directors since December 2014. Michael Singer, executive chairman and interim CEO of Aurora, said, On behalf of our board of directors and management team, I would like to thank Terry for his leadership over the years and for his tenure as a director, he said. As one of the original cannabis visionaries, Terry leaves an enviable legacy in the form of Aurora Cannabis. He helped set the table for the company to lead in Canada and globally, and we continue to execute our plan to do so profitably. And that was today's buzz. Thanks for listening. For more stories like the ones you just heard, join the cannabis community at tricomb.com. And don't forget to subscribe to the podcast and leave a review. It really helps others find the show. You can also keep up with Tricombs on all social media platforms and the Tricombs YouTube channel. For Tricombs.com, I'm Allison Benihuda. And I'm David Fortson. Take care and come back again tomorrow. <laughs>